Nat, Nat 20. 20. Welcome back to Nat 20, where in our previous episode, our adventures, uh, we're able to go back to Avranches to get a reward from the king. As well, they got a new quest from the king, which is to go to Summersdale to investigate why the king hasn't heard anything from them for the last uh, few days. So that is where we have left off. So all of you have just left the castle, and uh, you guys are able to do anything you want in Avranches, or you could just leave and continue on the quest like immediately. So what would you guys like to do? I suggest we leave. I need to buy some shit. What do you need to buy? You just said shit. <laughs> Don't forgive I, me. <laughs> I should go to a stable and buy some shit. Let's start Why? A farm. For for a spell. <laughs> okay. Uh, but, but no, I I need a breastplate and another longsword. Let's all go with them so we don't split up and take thirty five minutes to leave. I, I want to go to the left. Um, um, just gonna buy some sushi. Uh, so you have two choices of places where you could go to buy stuff like that. You could either go to uh, a blacksmith shop called He Who Smelt It. Or you could go to the best defense, which is a uh, what armor and weapons shop. Uh, when you go into he who smelt it, is the first thing you say they dealt it. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, a lot funnier in my head. Can you, can you cut that? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll go to the best defense. Okay, so <laughs> my bad. Uh, it doesn't take very long to get there since it's just in the second section after the main castle. Uh, so you go there and you see a large sign above the door with. A anvil and a hammer on one other side, and uh, as well as in the middle of that is a full suit of armor, and above it it says in big, like, italic words, the best defense, and the door is open, so if you want to go in, feel free. I'll go in, look for their shopkeeper. Okay, uh, yeah, the, the shopkeeper is a, uh, let's see who he is, uh... Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I guess I didn't actually write it down. Jamaican. Uh, Can you be Jamaican? <laughs> I can't be Jamaican. So Welcome to <laughs> you smelt it. That was, that was not Jamaican. That was not Jamaican. <laughs> <laughs> Jamaican. <to> the, uh, <laughs> Jamaican me crazy, man. Fuck it to you. Uh, you want to buy this armor? Want to buy this armor? It's very nice. <laughs> So you enter this shop and there are like a bunch of mannequins sent like all around with different kinds of armor. So chain mail, tape mail, some golden mail, some like mithril uh, mail, as well as leather armor and whatnot. And also behind, like on the walls, there are a whole bunch of different kinds of weapons, like pretty much anything you could think of. Uh, and the shopkeeper will, uh, you see that the, you're the only one in the shop except for the shopkeeper and the shopkeeper is a, uh, He's a dwarf. Uh, he looks pretty young, like probably just is just an adult now and doesn't have a very long beard yet. Uh, and he greets you like, welcome, welcome, welcome to the, mer- uh, welcome to the, welcome to the best defense, <laughs> the best armor shop and weapon shop in a branches. And the only one. <laughs> <laughs> what can I get you? My Hello, here. good sir. I hope your uh, slogan meets up to my standards. Oh, it nice. will. It's a guarantee. Okay, good. Uh, I'm looking for a breastplate. Oh, oh, a breastplate. Okay, uh, we have some steel ones as well as some, uh, platinum ones as well. And some silver as well. I think steel would, uh, be fine for me right steel? now. Steel? Great, great, great. Uh, so, uh, and he'll kind of lead you to one of the mannequins that has a breastplate on and just throw it here. It says, this might be a little bit too small for you, but I've got some others in the back that will be just your fit. Perfect. Uh, do you know how much they cost? It's 400 gold. It, uh, it, <laughs> uh, it will be 400 gold pieces though, if you want to buy it. They go down to 200 and get another bag. <laughs> I don't know, sir. I don't know about your craftsmanship. Oh, ask anyone in Avranches and they'll tell you this is the best place. To get armor or weapons, and it's a 100% guarantee. And it's the only place. You see, sir, but I don't have the time to go around and do a survey on your quality. (laughs) And I am in a rush. I'm going to need you to drop that price a bit. How about 320? I'm going to need you to. He goes on the sword. (laughs) Uh, He says, oh, no, 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 no. 
320 is way too little. Wait, like, that's not enough at all. Um, <laughs> the best I can do is 375. How about this? I'll pay you the 400 if you throw a longsword in as well. You know how much longsword's cost? 15 gold. You've got yourself a deal. <laughs> he, he shakes your hand hardly. Okay. And then he just goes to the back to grab a, a breastplate and then mm-hmm. says, uh, if you want any of the weapons that are on the wall as a longsword, uh, feel free to go and take one and we'll just make sure everything's all good. Nice. Yes. I could probably assess the quality of your armor if you want, because, you know, Jordan Blacksmith. I mean, super good, Jordan Blacksmith. You know, I'm in the shop right now. It's not really helping. Did we all go together? Gage said that no one I'm else hanging outside. Yeah, if anyone wanted to yeah, go, then they said so I went to the I'll, view screen. I'll, I'll I would have gone in with him. Okay, okay. It's kind of my thing. Okay. And Besides kids. Uh, <laughs> 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 Whoa. Gage, please cut that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get put on a watch. So. I would like to fly again. <laughs> uh, when you enter behind him more after a while when he's talking, you kind of catch the shopkeeper's eye and he kind of looks at you, takes a few seconds and just like, you're Ryan, Ryan Rumnaheim. That's right, do, you, do I know you? Yeah, I actually went to your shop uh, a long time ago. Oh, is that so? Your, I didn't know you saw blacksmithing, or smithing. Yeah, uh, you know, things happen. I decided to get away from it for a while. Of course, of course. You, the stuff you made was the best armor I've ever seen. Ah, thank you very much. The best weapons I've ever seen. Yeah. Best in the, in the land. <laughs> 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 now, uh, we have ourselves a deal. You said? I would assume so. Okay. Ryan, I didn't know you were a blacksmith. How do you feel about this craftsmanship? Uh, you want me to roll for this? Uh, sure. Yeah. Double advantage. Sure. Okay. What about the wisdom? Just, just, just advantage. Uh, that would be a, Investigation of this. Insight. <laughs> insight would be, be more trying to yeah. figure out if he's okay, lying. What aren't you trying to figure out oh, if he's yeah, lying? 20, so. right. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, you, uh, you look at this armor and these weapons and they do seem to be really high quality. You, of course, think that you made some stuff better or that your old, yeah. uh, the guy who taught you everything mm-hmm. had made stuff better, but this is still fine quality. Mm-hmm. Alright. Yeah, no, it all looks pretty good quality. Yeah. Not, uh, not quite as good as stuff that I've made in the past, but definitely respectable. <laughs> <laughs> just like a random guy, like, well, I, he didn't wow. make this stuff, yeah. did he? He's oh, the shopkeeper. Yeah, I guess so, but oh, it's still, I thought Ryan was still just being silly. Like, no, like best blacksmith in the entire <laughs> land, man. <laughs> Says you. Says everybody. Not the bag or anything, but I'm the shit. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, yeah. Yeah, it's good armor. I would definitely buy it. That was kind of Indian. <laughs> Focus. You're Scottish. Think hills. Think castles. Think, hills. <laughs> Think Loch Ness monsters. Think Shrek. I need about two fifty. Oh, dude, don't care. Yeah, so he'll bring oh, you out uh, the weapon and the breastplate and give you and take your money. Thank you, good sir. I'm glad. I'm always glad you help out with adventures. I'm glad to see that you're. Adventuring now. Yeah, look. It's, uh, it's treated me well so far. Since I have no more use for it, can I sell you this leather armor? He'll kind of just look at the armor, and being that it was modularly used and you've been attacked with it a few times, there are too many, like, scrapes or cuts in it for him to like it, so he's like, uh, that's a bit too partially used for us to take. Turn it into strips. You might be able to bring that to a leather master to make into like a saddle or something. Okay. Thank you for your business, sir. Thank you. Have a great day. I will. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> uh, so what else hmm. is there anything you guys want to do? I want to find some throwing knives. So I went to he who smelted. Okay. I will join him. This tree. Okay. Reason. Well, no, I'm, uh, I'm okay. <coughs> I'll just tag along with Blaze. Okay. Uh, so you go, you, uh, go to the southern side of the city. Well, it's kind of central and southern. And you find a, uh, blacksmith shop with 
pretty big sign above the door that says, He who smelt it, and then it's got like an anvil and a hammer that's like a boat who beat on a sword. And uh, the door is like, the door you notice was probably made in this blacksmith shop because it's like metal and cut. It's not dinged at all, but you do notice that it seems to be man-made here probably. And uh, you enter the shop, and inside you see a black dragonborn blacksmith, like just smithing some weapons right now. As well, there are a bunch of weapons hanging on the walls or on different shelves, just stuff that he's made that he sells himself. Yeah, I put everyone's name in, oh. in there, so I put everyone's name. <laughs> Quit peeking at the notes. Alright, <laughs> gonna die. Oh, Kill Duncan this session. <laughs> the little checkbox doesn't quite It wasn't enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, the Dragonborn, he stops what he's doing, looks back, puts stuff down, and says, Hello! What can I do you for? The name's Ollie. Ollio. All your fire smith. For all your smithing needs. <laughs> That's good. Thanks. <laughs> Man, I gotta get my voice. Uh, you got this. So much pressure. Uh, <laughs> Hello! <laughs> it wasn't right at all. There we go, got it. <laughs> uh, I'm here for throwing knives. I lost it. <laughs> Oh, great, great, uh, and let me show you to some of the knives I've made in the last few days. So he leads you to one corner of the shop where there's probably around, like, 20 or 30 throwing knives just, uh, hanging on a wall. Uh, they're, they're made from different things, so they're, like, just regular knives, uh, and then there are a couple that are obsidian, one, uh, one that is, that has, like, a diamond edge on it. That you have no idea how that happened, but somehow. This is and in- incredible. Find <laughs> 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 Yeah, and then when you look here, right, you see like a few butter knives or sig knives, <laughs> like that. Make two forks. <laughs> uh, uh, what what, uh, what would you consider to be your your best work? Oh, oh, uh, this diamond edge knife is the best I've ever done, but it's. I'll tell you the truth, it's not gonna be cheap. Gonna be cheap. Uh, what's your, your asking price? Uh, it would be, uh, 30 gold pieces. Oh, that sounds awesome! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> sure! Hell yeah! <laughs> and then, like, if you were able to read his mind, <laughs> you couldn't see that you would be able to know he'd be like, damn, this is 50. <laughs> <laughs> I'll absolutely take this for 30 gold. Absolutely. Great, great, great. great. Uh, this obsidian one also looks rather swell. Of course. Uh, that one will be uh, 15 gold pieces. 15, yeah. 15. Ooh, you, you put a hard bargain. Hard <laughs> bargain. Uh, I'll take it. <laughs> great. I'm glad I could help you. And he kind of he just takes them off the wall. Just make sure that they're sharp and have good edges and whatnot, have no scratches or anything, which they don't, and uh, he'll give them to you in exchange for the money. Or hand it over. This this went board. exceedingly well. Uh, <laughs> this guy's a good blacksmith, but he's not very business savvy. <laughs> I'll take the knives and I'll give him 45 gold, and okay. I'll be like, uh, I'm curious, how long have you uh, been operating? Uh, well, I've been here, I've been working here since I was about... Ten years old, and my father before me was here since he was ten, and his father before him since he was ten. Yes. <laughs> so is that well, around ten? Of... I I don't know the exact age, but probably around ten years old. Well, where's your boy? You must have an apprentice. I'm working on that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm in fur time. <laughs> <laughs> Something doesn't work right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Not as easy as making knives. <laughs> <laughs> There's some things that are more difficult than making knives. <laughs> That's true. That's very true. Uh, this is excellent. Thank you so much for all these great knives. Uh, do they have names? No, they do not. Oh, even better. Creativity is my uh, my favorite thing about myself. <laughs> I'm going to come up with some great names for these knives. That's great. A lot of People do name their weapons actually, right? Like, when they want something special for it. I'm gonna name this one Diamond Knife, and this one Black Knife. 
<laughs> Great name, sir. That wasn't, <laughs> that wasn't creative at all. <laughs> I'll think on it. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, and uh, I will turn to you two, uh, whose names I remember. Faron and Aeriendel. 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 Uh, you guys going to get anything? Uh, he's got some really good stuff here. I'm actually going to keep browsing around. Uh, an adventurer can always use a new blade. I am. Um, no, I think I'm. I'm. I'm good oh, for now. I, I, I don't need anything. I'm just gonna steep. go yeah, stand outside. Like, this place is a little too violent for my life. Uh So, uh, were either of you going to uh, get anything that he who smelt it? Uh, uh, ah, no, no. I, no. Uh, we're okay. What? This place is too violent. What else me. do you have for sale? Well, anything on these walls. Or any anything here could be for sale for the right price. And you see a bunch of like long swords, short swords. Uh, there, there's a crossbow. There's one regular bow that's made all of metal. And there's also like knives, spears, sickles, pretty much any weapon imaginable. How much is that? Their longbow. Oh, this metal one here. Yes. Uh, that will be. Thirty gold pieces. You know, I think he's trying to 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 jeep uh, you, if I'm correct. He's trying to throw you a fast one. What are you talking about? That's a great deal. <laughs> you should take that deal, even if it's shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about twenty? Uh, twenty-five, and we have ourselves a deal. Twenty-four. Stick with twenty. <laughs> sure. sure. <laughs> I shake his hand like that. Sounds like a deal. Okay. Oh, you should have sticked with twenty. Um, is there anything special about this? Uh, um, it'll give you an extra thirty feet of range. Oh, that is a good deal. Oh, nice. gold pieces. God damn it! <laughs> Sorry. Does that say uh, for breastplate? Does it say okay? How, how much? Forty or how much, is, how much does it say in yours? What? Like in your your handbook or whatever? It says forty in here. Yeah. But I looked up online and in the player's handbook and it's four hundred. <laughs> <laughs> how much extra uh, AC does it give you? Uh, Fourteen plus dex. Yeah, max it two. Oh, okay. <clears throat> plate armor is fifteen hundred gold pieces. And like, it makes sense that the breastplate is 400 because yeah. it is actual metal plate. Yeah. I think it's more plausible that the type of one, like. Yeah, in here. Yeah. Yeah, cause plus when you look at the cost of everything, it, it should be going up each time. Yeah. yeah. But breastplate is less than scale mail in it. Yeah, I looked at a bunch of websites. It's 400. Okay, sweet. Oh, that's disappointing. Yeah. I was gonna get my money back. Yeah. <laughs> I don't wanna have to owe you. It's on deal. <laughs> Actually, I mean, yeah, I'm looking it up, and daggers are like two gold pieces, so that was a really expensive knife. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's it's a really good knife, though. Hmm. Uh, it'll you give you an extra plus uh, three for damage. Plus three? Yeah. Both of them, or just uh, the diamond? The diamond one will be plus three, and so, the obsidian will be uh, plus um, one. Um, <clears throat> you know, I have bad experiences with not having silver weapons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, there's like a rule for getting... Oh, I should have gotten one silver and one steel. Uh, there's like a certain amount that it costs to, uh, coat a weapon with silver. Do you know offhand? Uh, that I have no idea right now. I have no, no idea right now. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I'm feeling it's in the triple digit range. Really? Yeah, it's a pretty yeah. big deal. Yeah, it's okay. like you have to melt down like several blocks of actual silver and then oh, coat your blade, so it would be okay. expensive. Yeah. Oh, uh, a single weapon or ten pieces of ammo for a hundred gold pieces. Oh, hundred. So was right. Okay. Go okay. yeah. Clayton. Um, go cool. Clayton. I, I You're so smart. So do you want to do that? No, I'm. Okay. I don't have the money now. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Actually, yeah. Okay. Um. <coughs> I think the battle hammer is silver, but I don't think I actually wrote that down anywhere, so. And since you're a blacksmith yourself, if you do have the tools, you could probably do it I do have yourself. Steel. If you have enough silver. Yeah, I don't have any silver. Yeah. It'll just take quite a lot to Yeah, do. it's like the, the hundred gold pieces I said was to cover the cost material and the extra oh, okay. piece of time needed, so. It okay. takes 20 days. <laughs> wow. that, that to code it yeah. in silver? That's insane. Because it's, it's 50 bucks for the silver, and then, it's two gold for each day. Oh, oh. yeah. 
That's nuts. We don't really have that time schedule. Uh, we'll have to figure it out later. Who are you talking to? <laughs> Myself. Cool. Anyway. I forgot I wasn't there. <laughs> uh, so is there anything else yeah. you guys would like to do um, while you're in Avranches? I can give you a list of the build of the major buildings that are here if you want. Yeah, please do. You put okay. the afternoon, so. Okay, sure. No! <laughs> uh, so there's the full sign tavern. Which is a tavern of first. Is yeah. that the one we were at? I, oh, the tavern yeah, I think. Well, no. Oh, well, no, we met at the one in, uh, in the other Yeah, city. it's Still a place. chain of taverns. Oh, so there's oh, one okay. in Boston and one here. Oh, the McDonald's yeah. of uh, Everon yeah. Chase. Gotcha. Yeah, exactly. No, Boston Pizza. Uh, there's also the Immo- Immortal Eagle Ale House. Uh, the Mercy's Embrace Inn, which is, again, a chain. chain. Uh, the Paradise Inn. Randolph's yes. good. Ha- Randolph's good, which is like a supply store. Mm-hmm. Caddy and Pandora's Provisions, which is a supply store too. He Who Smelt It, which I told about. The Boastful Bard, which is a music shop. The Best Defense again. The General's Mill, which is a food shop. Uh, Beef, Bread, and Beyond, which is a shirt shop and, <laughs> and bakery. And then, uh, there's also stables and markets, <laughs> which are open on, like, most days. Just a stables? <laughs> no, no, stables. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was like, can I buy some new pens and paper? <laughs> or <laughs> office supplies, please. Yeah. yeah, I need a printer. I need a stable. I need to print off my resume. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. Adventure. <laughs> Looking for work. <laughs> and there are also the two shrines at the very top of, uh, Ooh, Those were dedicated to the, uh. Yeah. Uh, they're dead. One is dedicated to Lathander and the other is dedicated to Tlum Boyle. Yeah, you mentioned that last yeah. time, I remember. No, uh, it was a Hephaestus. Yeah. Oh, Hephaestus. Good choice. Good choice. I mean, he gave a lot. Yeah, I know, but I mean, he went with the Greek one, so. Extra win. You know, you're Scottish. Diamond yeah. <laughs> Vulcan. <laughs> uh, so is there anything else Greek you'd Spanish like to do in town then? It is. No, I'm quite alright. Uh, I don't think we should, uh, waste time. Let's just go. Let's we gotta be- Yes, let's make a way. not wasting time if we're doing something. I know, but I mean, like, we have our weapons. What else do we need? Well, do you want to go anywhere? No. Well then, there we go. <laughs> let's head to the boat. Okay. Off to Summersdale. More boats. I hate boats. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so... Uh, the king of the branches did leave you with, uh, the same horses, or actually two other horses, just cause those two would need to rest. And, a wagon again. Same wagon, just so that you guys are able to hear whatever provisions you need, or whatnot. Uh, and that is just waiting at the docks for you. Uh, so you reach the docks without any circumstances, or anything out of, out of place. And you do see that the same lady who took you to our branches yes. is still at the docks, and she sees you guys and kind of just waves at you guys. I like that chick, she's nice. And just like kind of vibrating with excitement. It's gonna become regular. We've yes. gone on it once. <laughs> <laughs> you have to start somewhere. That's not getting any boat rides. There are also a bunch of other trips, which, uh, so some that are like more Really big ones, which could have like, probably like 300 people on them. Some small ones, rowboats as well. Uh, it's not really <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the tide is still out. Yeah, out. So you wouldn't be able to cross by the end at all. Uh, and there are multiple ship cabin- captains just waiting for anyone who might need a ride. Slack life. Waiting for someone yeah. to give them work. Well, it happens often because it I is a island, island city. city, which fair enough, and it's only available mm-hmm. over water, pretty much. Uh, what well, race was the lady that gave us a ride again? She was a gnome. Gnome, yeah. Hey, shorty! <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember her name. No. I actually don't remember her name either. Allie Allen. Thank you, Allie Allen. Hey, yeah. shorty! <laughs> uh, <laughs> we need a ride. Uh, Oh, hello, hello, hello! Ah, thank! I'm glad you came back here. You wanted to ride back to mainland? Yeah, just that's like what I said. Of, still vibrating with excitement. Mm. We're wanting to get some work done. 
Yeah, He's up uh, there, sport. <laughs> the map. I don't know, Dora. You're the one with the map. It's so, just a little jaw. Dora Drake and Josh. Dora Drake and Josh. Joe for you there. I thought it was Dora the Explorer. Dora the Explorer. That is movie. No, Drake and Josh. Crazy Steve. Listen, we're all the same age. I know you guys watch I, Drake and Josh. I know. Josh. So I've never actually Drake seen it. Josh. It's so, so good. good. I didn't get that channel. Legit, I have an actual antenna, not a satellite. I get five CTV channels. And so do you get like yeah. channels yeah. from like 1985 or something? No, they're still they're still recent. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's getting news from 25 years ago. <laughs> JFK is dead. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> 25 years ago was that long ago? Yeah, it was just the first thing I thought of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't count the map right now, but I'll find it on our screen. You don't know history because you don't have plus A proficiency like I do. Uh, So, so if you wanted, you could take a ship like straight from Abrantes to Somerset. Or you could uh, take the ship to pretty much where you got off the last time and just uh, walk the way. I say we uh, take it straight to Summer's Day. Which one would cost us more? Which would be faster? Uh, since you have a note from the king, you'd be able to not have to worry about cost. Okay, right. And it would definitely hey. be faster to go straight so to Summer's Day. make some pit stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I say Let's we take a few lines. I would love to do a round trip just all around the world really quick. <laughs> <laughs> it's free, why not? Around I've always, I'm not approving this. <laughs> I've always wanted to go for a cruise. Wait, around what? No, we're not doing days. this. <laughs> We're not going for a cruise. Why, why waste time with the main story where we can all go on vacation? <laughs> I'm I'm I hated boats. boats. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I've been had. <laughs> so, yeah. Ali Allendale will be like, where would you guys like to go? Diana goes straight to mainland, go back to, go to Silsby, go to Somersail, go to Mall even. Where would you like you to go? go to He's up, sports. Let's go. It's, uh, <laughs> calm down. Uh, we just want to go to Somersail. Yes. Oh, okay, okay, straight, straight there, straight there, straight there. Okay, sounds good for me. Okay, uh, come on board, come on board, and she'll just oh wow, <laughs> the audio <laughs> person just like through the room. Headphone wearers be warned. Gage gets excited. <laughs> it's in the cup. I know the episode. Gage gets excited. <laughs> Air John's coming out. <laughs> yeah, so uh, she'll lead you guys on board, and then she'll uh. Untie the boat from the docks and, uh, she'll set sail. I'm uh, gonna roll my constitution hey. to see if I throw up. Sure. <laughs> if you want to. Four. I, uh, I somewhat hold it in and I feel a little queasy. I'm like, something is wrong. Uh, and I'll just like stumble sideways over and then I'll give up and I'll completely throw over the edge of the boat and I'll just stay there the entire trip. How big is the boat? Uh, it's the same ship you were on before, so it's not a huge no, boat. It's nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it's not huge, but it, it's not too small. It's comfortable. And okay, safe. okay. Yeah. So it's not like, you know, Crusades big, there's it's a fire yeah. across the ocean with a bunch of horses. Yeah. Cool. And with that, do that uh, That'll be it for this episode, and we'll see you next time on Nat 20. It's thrilling.